So I was genuinely surprised by how much I loved Wonder Woman. You know, despite Remus Lupin being kind of a ridiculous villain. Especially when you consider the only big movie starring superheroines like Catwoman and Elektra, films I admittedly unabashedly love for all the wrong reasons are god-awful, overly sexualized filmmaking catastrophes. I think it's partly because, despite its relatively formulaic plotting and the fact that it's just one of the seemingly billion superhero movies that have come out in the last decade, it actually felt kind of refreshing and unique and even revolutionary in a shattering the glass ceiling sort of way. It wasn't just because of the female protagonists in a genre dominated by men, or director Patty Jenkins and her welcome assault on the straight male gaze. Fuck you, Justice League. There's a reason no one liked you. Or the fact that Diana Prince is supremely intrinsically good, loving, and sincere, in a way many of her cynical male cohorts aren't. Neither weakened by nor expunged of her compassion and optimism and femininity. It's the fact that it places the man, in this case Chris Pine's Steve Trevor, in the role of sidekick slash love interest slash someone that needs saving. A role that's usually occupied by women like Lois Lane or Mary Jane or Pepper Potts, and does so in a way that does not depower or dehumanize him. In fact, the relationship actually felt, dare I say, equal? 